Okay. Hey friends, uh, today we are orienting to online learning. So getting started to reflect. This is probably very similar to what you may already know from other courses, but there are some things that are specific to our course. So I do want you to pay attention here. So obviously, Governor Wolf mandated that all classes in the state of Pennsylvania are going on online learning until further notice. So again, until further notice, if you're asking me when that is, I don't know. So, um, but it should be a pretty lengthy amount of time here. We are definitely finishing the third marking period, um, moving into the fourth quarter and uh, possibly ending the school year like this. Um, participation in online learning isn't optional, it is mandatory. So your attendance will be taken every day and grades will be assigned for um, the assignments I'm asking you to complete. We will use Schoology for lessons, resources, and assignments. I'm going to also use Google Classroom as a backup, as I'm sure many of you have experienced this week. Um, Schoology is getting used by students all over the country and frankly, probably all over the world. So their infrastructure is being beefed up even as we speak. However, until they actually ramp all of that up, um, it's likely that Schoology will keep crashing. Uh, it's important that you keep trying. Um, don't just give up and you know, come back after 10 minutes, try again. Come back after 10 minutes, try again. Um, I am also going to be using a Google Classroom as backup. It's a little more uh, challenging for us to have discussions, which as you know, in our classes, we like to have discussions. So Schoology is really a great place for that to happen. Um, Google Classroom is challenging to make that happen. Um, so, but I'm gonna be using Google Classroom as a backup. So if you haven't already logged into your class, Google Classroom, please, please do so um, as soon as this is done. So our April calendar for the next couple of weeks looks like this. Today is Thursday, April 2nd. We have a basic orientation day. You're probably hearing from all of your teachers. You might just now have heard about a schedule and that kind of thing. So um, tomorrow is when we start to familiarize ourselves with the systems, accessing our online classes, and then you are going to be following your schedule tomorrow. So that Monday morning, first thing, 8 to 12, you can be online for your classes. Classes next week, it's a short week because of the holiday weekend. We still have a holiday weekend, so that's a bonus. Um, the marking period ends on the 9th. I, at this time, don't want to talk to you about grades because I'm still trying to troubleshoot that myself. I don't have information about that, but I will have information for you by Monday morning about what grades are um, going to be included for the third quarter and what's not included and what's going to be added to the fourth quarter, that kind of thing. Okay, so don't sweat the grades right now. Um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, there are no classes. And then we resume classes again on Tuesday the 14th, 8 to noon. And that is the official start of the last marking period. Yay, last marking period. That's pretty exciting. Okay, so our daily schedule, you'll see first, second, third, fourth block. It's an hour long for each class. Um, and then music happens noon to one. Each class is going to meet for an hour a day, and this is going to be when I am available for you for live lessons, your questions, immediate conferencing, and feedback. We're going to do this through Schoology conferencing, hopefully. Um, you can complete work during any other time of the day, um, but the assigned class hour is when you're going to have immediate access to me. So if you're doing your work at 930 at night, that's totally fine. Um, however, I'm not going to be available to help you at 930 at night. I will probably already be in bed. But what does a block look like? So technically, first half of class is when lessons and teacher directions and that kind of thing are going to be happening. Very similarly to what's happening right now, um, it's going to be done through Schoology Conference. The timing and format of those lessons may vary depending on the topic. Second half of class ideally then consists of 
um, you guys involved in practice support discussions assignments, this is when you have access to me to help you. So getting started during that time, just like you would in class after a lesson, getting started on the task or assignment while you still have access to me is crucial. So um, you're encouraged to attend classes live so that you have access to immediate help and feedback. Please let me know if you are in a situation where you cannot attend classes live. Um, so that's on my radar. Okay. I really encourage you to create some sort of routine. So dedicate a set schedule of time each day to your schoolwork. So dedicate eight to noon for your classes and then time each day aside from the class time to do your schoolwork set up in a quiet space in, um, in your home to minimize your distractions. So TV in the background, um, people talking in the background, your phone, those are probably going to be pretty distracting. So um, see, see what you can manage to have some kind of work space. And then log on daily. Just treat this as the same as you would with regular school. You don't want to fall behind. So don't skip days. Even if you're sick, you can still log in um, from your, your cozy bedroom or you know the couch. Um, and you can still log in and at least see the video or check out the lesson that's posted or get the reminders and maybe do a little work before you take another nap. Um, attendance is going to be taken based on your daily participation. So that is a school policy right now. Um, they want to see that you're participating every day in online school. So log into the Schoology classroom. Um, every day, I'm going to ask you to post something or be in touch with me somehow. So on days when I don't see you, um, those are days that you're going to be marked as absent. So please make sure that you are um, logging in and, and checking in. Okay. So navigating Schoology. Um, lessons, resources, assignments, again, are posted on Schoology. We're going to use Schoology primarily through the Conferences tab to access live lessons and recordings for each day. Under the Materials tab, you're going to see folders for each, um, like agendas, unit materials, that kind of thing. Um, I will be posting weekly agendas with an outline. So Monday morning, you know everything we're doing that week. I might add to this, so please pay attention for updates. Um, depending on what happens, maybe something I thought would only take you, you know, a day to do actually ends up taking you three days to do. Obviously then Wednesday, I might have to change something. So um, please pay attention to updates. Um, so under the updates tab, that's where you're going to see uh, weekly updates and reminders for assignments and that kind of thing. Um, again, I'm going to back everything up on our school or on our Google Classrooms. Um, so my responsibilities here, I'm going to be posting daily lessons, resources, assignments, helping you navigate the online learning platform of Schoology. Um, you're probably pretty familiar with Google Classroom. And um, but please remember that like I am your English teacher. I am not a tech coach. So if you have tricky situations with your Wi-Fi or access or that kind of thing, I really am not the person who's able to help you with that. So um, you do have uh, tech support um, from your Chromebook. So please use those tools as well. Um, I'm going to be available every single day during our class time to answer your questions. Um, so I'll be there every day, open conference. Um, you know, if we're in block one, I'm there for you eight to nine and then block two, nine to 10, block three, 10 to 11 and block four, 11 to 12. And I'm going to give you meaningful feedback on your work in a timely manner. I really want you to be successful and I want you to actually maybe even enjoy some of what we do your responsibilities. Obviously, you need to log in every day and check your school email every day. So set those notifications, please. Um, how will you know if 
something is going on on Schoology and Schoology has crashed and I've moved something over to the Google Classroom. How do you know that without getting your notification through your school email? That is how I will contact you. So please make sure you're checking your school email every day. Don't ask me to add, get another email in there for you. I don't have the capability since you are logged in with Schoology and Google Classroom through your school email. Please make sure that's the one you check. Um, it is your responsibility to watch those recorded lessons and videos. Obviously, I'm not standing in the front of the classroom teaching you those things, and I see whether or not you're asleep or whether or not you're in class that day. So you have to do that on your own, um, and I'm expecting that you are doing that. Make sure you're completing all of the assignments, paying attention to due dates. So again, we're not in the classroom, so I can't say, okay, so I noticed that these three people didn't turn this assignment in today. Um, your assignments are going to be due on a day before midnight. That's how it's going to work. So if I don't have it by midnight, I'll, you know, see that it's not turned in the next day. Um, please ask questions as needed. I'm there during those, um, those office hours. You can always email me. Um, it's not the most immediate way to get feedback, but you can always email me. And it is, since you are in 11th or 12th grade, it is expected that you are editing all of your written work. This is work for English class. Um, everything that you do in writing should be edited. So if you're not using Grammarly yet um, or don't have it downloaded, uh, you definitely want to get on that. If you need help with that, please let me know. But that is the expectation. Everyone's responsibilities, we're going to give 100% effort, probably a little bit more than 100% right now while we figure it all out. And in that regard, we're going to be kind and understanding, flexible and patient and communicate, communicate, communicate. Um, this isn't going to be perfect. Uh, I don't expect you to be perfect yet. <laughs> I don't expect anybody to be perfect. And uh, we're, we're going to adapt and adjust and learn together. I am still learning a lot. I've been working really hard to get things been running here for you guys and learn a lot of new things in a short amount of time. Um, so please be patient with me as I troubleshoot these things as well. Okay, so I hope you guys are all doing well and that you're still awake. <laughs>